Hi and welcome back to CS 2024. I'm here at the Xreal booth and now I'm going to get, well, a demo of the Xreal Air 2 Ultra. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So Jason here, I'm the product marketing here. So uh, this is our latest spatial computing device, uh, Air 2 Ultra. It features two 3D environment sensors. Um, tracks your hand and tracks the environment and um, six stuff tracking, depth mesh and spatial mapping, all that. It features uh, the titanium frame, first ever in uh, AR glasses. It has two LED lights on 80 gram, 52 FOV, so very comfortable, uh, comfortable to wear. Uh, I think this is a uh, lightweight spatial computing glasses for uh, developers now, but later mass market uh, users, they can use it. Uh, here's your um, control board, it's just paper but uh, you can uh, rotate the arrow here, it will trigger different effects. Here you can move the blue button, it's magnetic, right? This really shows an inspiration for our developers that uh, they, they can use physical uh, objects to um, be a part of the input methods uh, to interact with the digital content. To select something, this demo, uh, we introduced the pinch gesture. So you just look at it and use a pinch, right? Okay. Because the camera is downward facing, you don't have to raise your arm super high. Just put it on the table and select it, right? Okay, um, okay so cool. So, so um, like um, the x real Airs before, they were just for content consumption, right? To watch yeah. movies and such. So this device now, it is something different. Yeah, it's very different. It's very different. Check this out. So this is now really an AR headset, right? To interact with some apps. Yeah. Six star full feature spatial computing glasses. Okay. Yeah. So I, I connect this with my phone or? Yeah, with your phone. And later we will introduce our own uh, computing unit. But right now okay. we have Android phone. Okay. So you can add the prescription lenses. Oh, now magnetic, yeah? Uh, for the time was magnetic, uh, for general user, uh, we will include an insert um, in the box. Ah, okay, just like the uh, Enreal Air, the Xreal Air? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, okay, the FOV is a bit wider than before. Yeah. That I can tell already, so before, yeah. The FOV, yeah, was I don't know, was it was a bit less. I can just tell it, it is bigger. Um, like um, horizontally, it is wider. The FOV, I would say. Also, also vertically, is also wider. It's also bigger. Probably also a bit. Okay. Um, what is the resolution like? It's 1080. Oh, 1080, just like before. Yeah, but that, honestly speaking, that is still okay. It still looks very sharp, just like. On the uh, Unreal Air 1, the, the number 2 I didn't see actually. Yeah, the color is very vivid as well, like we calibrate um, the color for each pair of glasses. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, so what is the FOV uh, horizontally? Uh, we, we use diagonal for, for this okay. diagonal. Yeah. yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Is this um, ultra leap hand tracking? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> cool. The, the, the that is cool. You're surrounded by multiple screens. Yes. There. Right, right. So, okay. Okay, I see uh, multiple screens uh, floating in front of me. And actually, they are very stable. They are super stable in, in space. So this is six stuff tracking, right? Right. Okay, yeah, that is a huge difference to before. Right, so they also did something with these floating screens with 3 of before, but it was not so stable actually. But now, the virtual screens that I can see here, very cool. Yeah, still obviously you, you have that FOV which is still not great compared to VR headsets, right? So it's, it's, still, it's still cutting off whenever, whenever I look around. But it is actually better than before. So the cool thing is, I have the Ultra Leap um, hand tracking, so I see the Ultra Leap um, finger. No, it's not Ultra oh, it's not Ultra. It's all in the house. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. Okay, not Ultra Leap, but but the the finger model it looks exactly like like their demo. <laughs> okay, but anyways, so it's your in-house finger tracking, which, yeah, actually, yeah, it works well. So I can. What can I do? I can. You can toggle the green button. Down. Ah, okay. 
Ah, right, yeah. right, right. So we have this, these things here and they are being tracked by the cameras and it has a button here. Ah, okay. Can I do it like this? Okay. Oh, it, it, it toggles, it toggles something. Nice, nice. That is pretty cool. And here also I can do something. Uh, move it down, uh, show you the social media page if you look up. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. So Avatar now playing. You know what is cool? It is really more relaxing than with the other headsets, with the, uh, with the previous generation, because the screen actually really stays where it's supposed to stay. So, now the only thing that is still a little problem is the FOV, right? Because if I do like this and this, yeah, I will reach um, the, the, the FOV um, final borders, <laughs> right? So I would have to, I would have to make this, the movie screen a bit smaller actually to use it. Yeah, but it's, it's cool. It is absolutely an improvement. And what is this crap here? It's your virtual pad. Um Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, right. So I, I rotate this here, and then it will show different insects. Okay, cool, cool. And yeah, this is this is only optical. Yeah, there's no nothing inside this, right? Yeah, it's paper. It's paper. <laughs> it's paper. Okay. Very nice. Oh, that works very well. And uh, try the hand tracking. Like okay. Here are three messages you can select from. If you look here. Look where? Here, here, this place. This yeah. Place. Do you see something? I see, see an avatar. Avatar. Look down a little bit. How three many messages you can read? Three. I can see yeah. three messages. So, uh, find one. Use a pinch gesture. Look at it. And oh, yeah. Pinch. And look up. Oh, yeah, it changed. Wow. <laughs> cool. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, it works. It works very well. The hand tracking and the colors are beautiful, right? This is OLED. So the only thing that would make this incredibly amazing would be a bigger FOV. <laughs> we all want that. Yeah, I know, I know. But and well, yeah. Look at the light here. But you're getting the light. Where? Yeah, oh, yeah. They're, they're oh, really oh, oh! This is cool. This and is very cool. There's a hue button. Do you <laughs> see this? Yeah, I see it. Try to drag it. Up and down with the right hand. With with the right hand? Or? Yeah, yeah. And use a pinch gesture. To oh yeah, oh yeah, wow. And release it. I'll yeah. oh, release it. Okay, I need to release it to uh, make it happen. Oh, this is great. So there's some, uh, you probably don't see it now, there's an LED lamp and uh, it has the, the virtual um, hue manipulator and I can simply use my hand now to change the color of this. Cool. Very cool. This is really well. This is a big step up from <laughs> from the air before, from the from the X-ray air. And uh, nice. you can try the dimming, electrical coma dimming here. Yeah. Where uh, on the right temple, the first guy. Ah, uh, okay. Oh series. yeah. Okay. Three levels. Ah, three levels. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, that works. Yeah. This is a this is a beautiful function. So you can actually um, dim down your room basically by clicking on this link, uh, on this button. So I have seen this functionality before in the Vitur glasses, but not in the Xreal yet. So it's cool that Xreal also has this now. Yeah, we, we had, had it with uh, uh, Okay, I didn't, I, yeah, you didn't send it to me, so I don't know. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. This is, this is a great, this is a nice function. Wow. All right, so this is the Enreal Air 2 Ultra. Xreal, sorry, sorry, Xreal Air 2 Ultra. It's going to set you back, how much, 799? 699, okay, for, actually more for developers right now, because there's lots of things uh, you could do as a developer, but this also, um, also like consumers can buy this, right? Yeah. Starting from when? Now. Okay. March. Okay, you can pre you can pre-order now, and it ships around March. Wow! It, and it has a really cool design. Those look great. 
Um, do you also have like like a cover still? If you want everything black? Yeah. Oh, you also have it. It also comes with. Okay. And we have an for that. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, wow. This this looks nice here. This uh yeah, titanium. Very very cool. Great. So the X Real Air Two um, Two, you still sell it as well, right? Yeah. And how much is that? Air Two is three nine nine. Oh, three ninety nine. Okay. Available on Amazon and our. Okay. Uh, what What does the Pro uh, model do? Oh, the Pro has <laughs> the electric home theme. Ah, all right, right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So these cameras here are simply for the for the hand tracking, right? And uh, yes, yeah, spatial understanding, environment understanding. Okay. It's not for video recording. Right, right, right. All right. Let me just show you the FOV that I see here. So this is this is horizontally, and vertically probably like this so so yeah if this was this would be perfect if it had like a bigger FOV but for this for this category of glasses this is right now probably the max <laughs> that I've seen for this category of glasses so so that's nice okay yep okay yeah I can tell it's a bit bigger okay yeah it's a bit bigger yeah okay cool Nice. So these are the X Real Air 2 Ultra. You can pre order them right now and you're going to get them in March 2024. Thank you so much for the demo. And if you enjoyed this video, absolutely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. See you in the next one. Until then, bye bye.